I was thinking all this when I was going carrying my fuel wood on my back. I am worried and don't know what to do. We live in an extremely rural area. It's very far from any town. To reach even the smallest town in Farda district from our place, Kim Erdengai, takes a full day's walk, that's for someone like my father that walks really fast. For me it might as well take me two or three days. I tried to run away many times. One time I went to the Debulima County, only half an hour's walk, and asked if the place was Kim Erdengai. Many laughed at hearing my question that time. I don't know why they call it Kim Erdengai. It's not a place of stones, I have heard it's a beautiful place on a wide green plateau. This is why farmers and traders gather from far and wide to trade at Kim Erdengai on Saturday. The animals don't look like they are there to be sold or carry stuffs, they look like they gathered there to graze. The cattle spend the day there grazing actually till their last fate. When I reached Devilima and saw the cattle and the green land, I thought I was at Kim Erdengai. When I learned it wasn't I asked them to show me the road, but those who recognized me and knew my father too grabbed me by my hands and took me to father. I wouldn't have been able to find Kim Erdengai if they had left me alone though. I wouldn't have known what to do if I even had reached Kim Erdengai. I had no money. I was only ambitious to escape those masters who were ruling me in the name of family. Nothing happened anyways. I think it was because I was clueless that wherever county I was discovered I was taken back to my family. And the people as if they were told to watch out for me everywhere I go I was dragged back home. And every time this happens my family punishes me mercilessly. They beat me one after another until I lay senselessly prostrate between life and death. 